Okay, let's have a quick look at some of the very useful magic modules which you can try out on your Android devices. If your device is rooted and you want to install some modules, let's get quickly onto some of the modules. Links are already available in the description, so make sure to check out them. I'm using kernel SU in this case, but you can definitely use magisk in case you want to. First module which is in our list is user interface lock screen. The module I've already shared with you on my other Hindi channel, but some of you are not aware of that and that's why this video is here on this channel. What this module does is if you install this module from kernel SU or magisk, you will see the lock screen. Now we have the user switcher. So for example, if you are using multiple users, if you are using multiple users option on your Android device, you can simply switch between them directly from the lock screen. And that is one of the major features of this module. This is quite amazing. And yes, it's working perfectly fine with the latest Android version, latest security patch, and you'll be able to use this thing. This, this lock screen will give you a good UI for sure. So you can check it out in case you want to. Link for this module is already available in the description. I've installed it from Kernel SU. You can also try it from Magisk and it should work from there too. It's totally up to you what you want to choose. In my case, I use Kernel SU because if I don't want to play with the safety net or play integrity at all. Second one is boot loop saver. I recently shared a module on my other channel regarding the A boot loop anti boot loop module, which is working fine. But in case you don't want to install that or you want to try something else, then you can try out this. This is STRP boot loop saver. The developer of this module is crank V2, I guess. The link is there in the description for that one. You can install this thing and uh, in anti boot loop case, the major difference is in that case, if your device got into boot loop, you have to press power button and then your device will be booted. But in this case, if you install this module, you don't need to do anything. If you if a module cause boot loop, it simply disables all the modules and your device will be booted. As you can see, safeguard your system against boot loop due to magisk modules by disabling all modules and rebooting when boot loop is detected without patching your boot image. So this could be an advanced protection for you. Definitely a worthy module to check out. Don't miss it. Last but not the least, this is regarding Google Photos unlimited backup. It's not new, but something new here is I found in some cases, if you enable the magic editor feature, the Google Photos unlimited backup sometimes doesn't work. But if you enable the Google Photos unlimited backup, magic editor doesn't work. But in this case, both of these things are working fine. To install this module, I tried it on my other device because my previous device where I was showing you some modules there was already having the pixel module. I mean, it was already having the Google Photos unlimited backup option. I tried it on MIUI because in MIUI you don't have these kind of things by default available. In this case, I tried that and you already know that I have the Google Photos unlimited backup available there. And we also have the magic editor, magic eraser, all the options are there. I also tried this magic editor option, which was working flawlessly. So that's just quite amazing. These are some great modules I tried on my device and you can also try out them. This is how it's working. It's working perfectly fine. The results are quite good because we installed this module as a magisk module. So don't worry if you don't want that, you can simply uninstall the module and you'll get back to the stock one of the default UI default things here. This is it. These were things I just wanted to let you know. If you want to try it out, if you want to install these kind of modules on your rooty device, links are there in the description. As I already mentioned, I tried installing some modules from Kernel SU, from Magisk. Both of them are working fine. You can choose any of them, any of them you want to. This is all. Thanks for watching. We'll definitely see you in the next one. Take care.